Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm gonna be telling you guys five things that I cannot stand. I absolutely cannot stand these. All right, here we go. Number five, loud flushing toilets. Now, when I was little, I absolutely hated loud noises. And one of these loud noises was, of course, loud flushing toilets. Like, when you ever go to a public bathroom, anything like that, you always, you always gotta know if the toilet's ever gonna be quiet or like really loud, like someone was playing loud music right next door. And it scares the crap out of me for some reason. Like, you never know what, what's gonna happen until you flush the actual toilet when you're done take doing your business. <sighs> anyway, next one. Number four. When I, when I step on something that I'm not supposed to step on. This goes for when I'm like walking in the hallway and, um, in my house or something and I step on like cat puke or dog poo or Lego bricks. It's, it's ridiculous, you know? Like when you get something stuck to your foot, you never know if it's gonna be something gross because who, I mean, I know so, some people, some people when they walk down the hall, when they walk down the hallway, they like to check where they're stepping. But sometimes I gotta, I gotta walk, I gotta look forward. I can't just, I can't always step down, uh, um, look down when I'm stepping. On, like, you get the idea. Anyway, on to the next one. Number three, when people set up Christmas decorations way too early. This is ridiculous. Like when it's the middle of October, when it's like the end of October, like the end of November and stuff, Walmart always sets up Christmas decorations way too early. And some radio stations always put up Christmas songs way too early, like even, even when it's not even Thanksgiving yet. It's ridiculous. It gets on my nerves every single year. I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I love Christmas, but when but when people just set up Christmas decorations way too early, set up their Christmas lights way too early, I get it. It you could you start you could start early and set up the set up the decorations, you know, to, just to get a head start. But are you kidding me? In the middle of October, when it's not even Halloween, or when it's November and it's not even Thanksgiving yet, you gotta be freaking kidding me, man. This is ridiculous. I can't, ooh, I can't stand it. I'm sure you guys can't stand it either, but for me, I dread that thing so much. I freaking hate it with a passion. Anyway, number two, when I'm trying to talk to someone and, and someone else interrupts my conversation. This goes when I'm talking to my mom telling her a conversation and my little brother steps in and starts talking to my, to my mom when I'm clearly talking to her. That grinds my gears so much. I hate it. It's just annoying to deal with all the time. Not all the time, but every now and then it happens. It gets on my nerves. I'm like, seriously, man, let me speak. Anyway, on to the final, final one. Number one, when people aren't wearing their masks properly and some people don't even social distance, are they trying to get people to give people the coronavirus or something? It's like, when people, when they get the coronavirus, they just go to the store and just don't stay home. Normally when people like get the flu or something, they, their normal reaction is to stay home. But ever since this COVID-19 stuff happened, everybody's just going to the store, not wearing their mask, not, not staying six feet away from each other. It's not that hard. If anything doesn't annoy me enough, it's this. It 
boils me to my core. It's, it's just like a volcano erupting from inside my brain and I absolutely cannot stand it. And I made, I made a video about this last week. Go check that out, link in the description. Anyway, that is five things I absolutely cannot stand. And I'm sure you guys can relate to this video as well. Let me know some things you can't stand in the comments below. Anyway, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.